Good evening everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, my last clip was obviously after I saw the boys at the uh, Henley Rewind Festival. Um, this time I've been to see them at Dingwalls in Camden. Really, really awesome uh, gig. Um, obviously they did do some of their old stuff rather than just the hits, for, um, but I have to say, I mean, the collection of fans there was, you know, I mean, I sat on a table in the pub afterwards and I reckon there was probably 12 or 13 of us and we probably, between us, knew more about the band than they know about themselves, I reckon. Um, I did manage to get backstage and uh, here's just a couple of pictures. Uh, this is me with Mark, then with Sean, uh, Nathan and Mike. Now when I walked in the room I did ask both Mark and Mike have they still got their original t-shirt which is obviously the t-shirt that Mark gave me in 1981 and both of them said no. So I don't know if there are any still around but um, hopefully, I'll, you never know, I might have the only one in existence. Um, so when I do die, both my sons will probably want to sell it, so you'll have to hang around for a little while, any, any fan that actually wants that t-shirt. Um, not only did I see the boys, um, I did also meet Marley, uh, it is the second time I've met her uh, and Rhea, um, although the first time was very, very briefly at the Indigo. Uh, this time I actually had a reasonable chat with her, an absolutely delightful young lady, um, I said, <laughs> just posing for a picture there. Um, as I said, the gig was really, really good. I did have the pleasure of meeting two of my subscribers, both Mario and Matt. Thank you so much for your kind comments about um, my channel and obviously what I do with it and you know the uh, posts that I make. Um, I have to say, the comments that you gave me just sort of makes the time that I put in really, really worthwhile. Thank you both. Um, now, although I didn't get anything signed uh, there because it wasn't time, um, I have sent a few things off to Mark and he's, as usual, I mean, this guy really does look after me, I have to say. Um, he signed a few things that I will auction at the end of November with some other stuff from some other bands. Um, uh, this is a picture that I was sent by a press photographer. I've, I have posted some of these pictures, uh, but Mark signed it here. I am going to the gig at the at Mark, um, Mike and Phil's gig at um, the 606 Club. Uh, next week so I am hoping of all hopes I know that their their night is for another charity but I'm hoping that both of them might sign this picture as well um, also I'm hoping they might sign this flyer that Mark signed already um, and again this is a picture that I sent him that he signed and as I said you know <laughs> I send this stuff off I know probably a lot of you do the same thing send stuff off and he actually sends it back but at the end of the day, the guy doesn't have to. And uh, yeah, I mean, I actually got more than that. I got a few more than these, the three that I've just shown you signed. Um, so I said the end of November um, auction will have quite a lot of content to it. Um, one of my clips I've done previously was about Elite Records and Andy Soika and Jerry Pike. Uh, the other day I got um, a comment that, uh, on my clip that uh, Jerry had made himself. Uh, and he, ga he gave us a little bit of information that I didn't know about. Um, so they both produced um, Love Meeting Love on the Elite Records 12 inch. And again, just to recap on the information that um, I've been given previously, this design here is the nose cone of uh, an Apollo 13 or one of the Apollo uh, rockets. Now what Jerry told us was if you look very, very carefully there, there's like a blue stripe. Um, both he and Andy actually put USA on the uh, record label to make it sort of look like they were an American label. Um, I don't know what, obviously there must have been when this was printed, because I understand there were 3,000 of these printed. Um, obviously somebody saw that and didn't like it. And I don't know whether they were, literally all 3,000 had to be physically done with a blue marker, um, but they, the USA was blotted out. So again, Jerry, thank you very much for commenting on my clip. And obviously now lots of other fans know about this very, very minor thing. But these types of things are really great for us to learn about. And as I said, I do, do appreciate you making taking the time to comment on my clip. Um, I did, as, it, as you're aware, I've moved recently. And I did find a whole load of other tickets recently. Uh, ones from uh, the Hexagon in Reading. Um, another one I think from the Coronet in um, Woolwich which both of those gigs were actually signed oh, don't worry. I think there's someone's there uh, there's some from Wembley as well 
Uh, and again, because I've got a couple of these, I think I'll probably auction one of these as well, and maybe one of these from Wembley. So uh, that's it for the time being. As I said, I will be seeing Mark, uh, Mike and Phil next week, but I've already been told we're not meant to film, so possibly the only thing I'll have from that is maybe a couple of signed things, but um, some photos as well. But I'll keep you all posted. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.